This is a very casual demo of our auto grader tool, which helps us automatically grade uh, assessments made by students who take the classes offered by the education team. So the auto grader is a Python script that lives here in PS Education Services project. It hasn't been merged into master yet, so it's over on this branch. To, to run the auto grader, you don't need to you know any of this because you'll be running it using Docker, but here's where the code lives if you want to look at it. It's inside auto grader. There's a readme, which is separate from the main project readme. And this readme gives information about what it does, what you need on your machine in order to run it, how it works, uh, there's a fairly long thing you need to copy to run it on your machine. It's a, it's a Dockerized app, so you're using Docker to run it. So you do need Docker running on your machine. And you also need a personal access token with particular scope. I describe how to make one of those if you don't have one already up here in the requirements section. And so that's how you run it. I'll show you it running here in a second. And then if you make changes to the script, here are instructions on how to build it and how to push the Docker image back up to the container registry for this project. Some limitations, what it can't do yet. And then we've got kind of a roadmap here for possible things we might add to it, features we might add. So let's see it in action. I'm going to... Uh, run it here. Now notice, I so this is this is that command that I highlighted, the long docker command. And notice I've not put my actual token in here. I've stuck it in an environment variable, so my token's not in a video on Slack. So we're going to run this uh, docker image. Here we go. And it asks, uh, first of all, which test you're trying to grade. Right now, it only knows about one test, the, the basics class. If this proves to be useful, then we'll add more tests to it. So this is our only option for now. Now we need to give it some information about where to find the, the, the work that the student did. So there are a couple different things you can, you can paste in here. I'm going to choose the option of pasting in the session number on the demo cloud, or the session number of the class, I guess, is really what it is. And then the student's username from the demo cloud. So we'll paste these in. And now it's going through the 12 tasks that the student is asked to do on that assessment. And it's making API calls to the demo cloud, checking those 12 tasks. And because this is a demo, the student work is all uh, correct. And you can see we've got green stoplight lights uh, showing that all 12 passed. If any failed, we'd see a red stoplight light. And then down here, We've got 12 out of 12 passing, or 100%. The tool does not send out any kind of notification, like it doesn't announce, hey, student, congratulations, you passed on Slack or anything like that. That's still done manually. But that's the kind of thing we could add in a future iteration if we wanted to. That's it for the demo. Let me know if you have any questions.